When you're working with Umbraco, you have full control over the files on your project. That is also the case when you've cloned down your Umbraco Cloud project to your local machine. In this video, I'll introduce you to the Umbraco project folder and we'll add CSS and other files to our project. Let's do it. So this is our website so far. A bit boring at the moment, right? I say it's time we do something about that. I have the project open here in File Explorer. These are all the files that makes up our project. We have config files, the necessary files that make up Umbraco, and so on. You can even find the templates here. Open the Views folder, and there's our homepage template. So far, we've been working with our templates in the Umbraco back office. You can at any time open these files from the project folder here and use your favorite code editor instead. Just keep in mind that new template files should always be created from the back office first, and then you can use other tools to edit them. Now, let's go back to the project folder. So we need to copy the CSS folder from the custom template into our project folder here. I have the template folder open over here. So I'll copy the CSS folder and paste it in to our project folder. There we are. Let's also grab the images folder here from the template while we're at it. Yes, there we go. These images will just act as static images for now. Okay, let's head back to our Umbraco back office. Once you've added style sheets to your project, you'll be able to find them from the settings section. There's a style sheets folder down here. And if you reload it, you'll see that the CSS file from the custom template has been added. You can even open it here and edit the file directly from the back office if you prefer. Now, with images and CSS files added, I think it's time we try taking a look at the front end. Refresh the page. There we go. Looks much better now with colors and images. Now, most of this content is still static content that is added directly in the HTML file. Only the part up here, this part, comes from the body text field on our welcome node. What we want now is to eliminate all this static content and instead replace it with dynamic content from our content section. In the next video, we will continue to render dynamic values by expanding our website even further with more properties, document types, and templates. And that was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.